This is the free motion quilting tutorial for angle spiral. This is stitched by first coming up with a square or a triangle shape and then you work yourself into that giving yourself space in order to get into and then back out of your spiral shape. And this can be any shape that you want so long as it has sharp straight angles and of course uh, sharp, straight lines. So squares and triangles, they can be uh, a regular, they don't have to be perfect, and they just simply fit together in a very irregular fashion. As long as you keep the spiral effect going, like right here you see me stitching in kind of a weird area, but as long as you keep the spiral working, it continues to look consistent. And where I can, I try and stitch it the way an actual spiral is stitched from the inside to the outside but you can fake it simply by trying to keep your lines as consistent distances apart as you can. I really like the nice straight lines that this stitch have because it provides a nice contrast. If you were to match this and put this around maybe flowing and curving applique designs, it would have a very interesting contrast that you couldn't get with any other stitch except another one like a hash mark grid, something with straight lines. But this is a lot easier than most straight line designs. It flows very quickly, which is very, very nice for those situations. You can use this design in just about any area of your quilt. The tighter you stitch it, of course, the longer it's going to take to work over a large quilt, but you can always increase the size by increasing the distance between your lines of stitching. And here's what it looks like when you finish angle spiral. For over 150 videos on free motion quilting, go to daystyledesigns.com.